day one of the how to get through the holiday the sparkle way. So today we're talking about a finger food and I think a lot of people struggle with that one. So Annie, give me your tips about what to do when it comes to finger food and just because there's so much occasion of eating and munching and food gonna be everywhere. So how do you deal with that? Or maybe give me some tips on how to get better. So the first tips would be to never go hungry, number one. So keep eating through the day as normal. Let's say the event is in the evening. Eat normally through the day as you would. Keep drinking your water. If you can bring some foods along with you, then it's a good way to make sure that you have some healthy choices along the way. Uh, and some good choices in that would be, for example, to bring shrimps, shrimp cocktail. That is an awesome high protein little snack. You can bring some the classic veggie tray, fruit tray if you feel like sweets. Um, uh, popcorn is also a good yeah. one as well. Clean I like devil legs. Definitely, yes. <laughs> devil that. legs are awesome. Devil and they're cheap. Yeah. They're so cheap and so easy to do. Um, so you don't have to you know, put too much time into it. Um, uh, and keep drinking your water. If you can bring uh, even cocktails, mm -hmm. clean cocktails to bring along so that you're not stuck with drinking something you're not. Yeah, drinking. I love. And something really nice would be like a clean mojito. You can have like mint mm -hmm. as soda water, um, like you lemon. know, lemon, mint. You can even like scram some fruits in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Still make it fancy, yeah. but without breaking the budget calorie wise. Calorie -wise. Yeah. If there's dips involved, maybe make sure they're um, Greek yogurt based. Mm -hmm. That gets down yep. the calories quite a bit, but again, high protein, so still fill you up. Um, and it's very important to refill your water through the evening. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you, or if you're drinking a glass of wine or something, maybe between each glass of wine, you have a big glass of water yep. to fill up. I find it kind of slows down um, the the munching thing or the mindless thing. And above all, just. Be present in the moment, enjoy the time. This is the holidays after all. So yep. It's time with family and friends, but it's also time to enjoy because we sometimes we don't get to see those people very often. So yep. it's also time to just relax uh, amongst the mm -hmm. a lot of stuff, but it's nice to enjoy them. Yeah. Because my tips for uh, munchies, so first of all, I think you're right, you're 100% right, never go there hungry. Yeah. Like I always make sure I have like a Everything I was supposed to eat, I eat tons of it. So when I get there, I'm seriously not hungry. So maybe I can have a bite, but I will not indulge. Mm -hmm. Because I know my, my big thing is cheese and chip, and they're always there. So I found if I just eat enough, I will not kind of jump into it. Another thing, I always try to stay away from that table. I know like we're Acadian around here, we do like part in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, I will kind of put myself close to the veggie tray versus going to the cheese tray. I'll just kind of, mm -hmm. um, you know, move myself around. I'll drink plenty of water. I'll um, make sure that I'm surrounded with people that I like to talk about so I don't have tendency to to, yes. to eat. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I'm like in boring crowd, well, next thing you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, be mindful of who you are with. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's that's kind of how to do it. So bring your own food and, you know, be that person that bring food. It's awesome. Like when, when I'm the host and someone brings something, it's always nice. So yeah. bring your own version. And I, I swear, other people will be so happy to see like a healthy version of food. Mm -hmm. Think about how you feel when you have that person that brings something really, really tasty, but good. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's exciting. Like usually people are happy to see that I'm bringing devil eggs and vegetables and like maybe like cold cut meat mm -hmm. and like shrimps and because everyone is trying to be healthier for Christmas. Like you're not alone in this. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the topic number one that people talk about right now. Mm -hmm. So don't feel bad to bring something nice. It'll be the hit of that party, seriously, because everyone is the same way. They're just, they don't have that strength. They feel that, they feel that people will judge them, but at the end of the day, like they wish that we'd be like you. Yep, and all in balance too. So if you absolutely want that special piece of cookie or whatever yeah. that your grandmother does and it's special, I have a rule where I try to take in what has to come first, so it's my veggie first, a few shrimp, tray, got my water, then I'll go for that one piece. So at least the indulgent won't be there as much than if you go directly for that. Yeah. If, if you're going to have it, yeah. then you might as well have a little bit, 
but it's hard to do that when you're full. Yes, exactly. So it's almost like you're planning of cheating a little bit so you don't feel deprived. Mm -hmm. So that's another big deal. Yeah. So I hope this tips help a little bit. By the way, make sure that you look at your email because if you're part of, well, if you're not part of the email list, add your name to the list below and you'll be receiving few recipes. We have like finger food recipes that we will be sending cocktails. To cocktails and stuff in the email. So if you want the recipes, you need to be on that list because they're the only people receiving the, the recipes and all the, the special add-on, the yeah. extra. Make sure you're on that list and see you tomorrow for day two.